hi good people welcome back to my channel it's good to have you back here on my channel thanks for coming back to watch my video if you are new here if you're just seeing this face for the first time you're welcome and i hope you keep coming back and for all subscribers thanks for always coming back to watch my videos you're the real g's thank you so much so today i'm going to be talking about customer care representative job in canada again I've, I've made a video about it in the previous times and i'm here to make another one the job actually seems like an easy peasy job yeah what's there answering calls and all that it's actually not easy you know it's quite stressful depending on the industry you are actually so i'm in the telecoms industry and the calls are usually back to back angry customers and all that so it's really not easy some days are good some days are just very very annoying you know and something i've got to come to realize over time here is that canadians are actually very chatty they're very inquisitive they like to just talk and all that and personally i'm not that type yeah people say i'm outspoken and all that but i don't really like talking too much so that's why maybe it's like i'm kind of struggling in the job not really struggling like the feedbacks i'm getting from my supervisors and all that you know so i recently i got to get a feedback that oh shaiza your calls are too short I'm like my calls are too short like what do you mean yeah I within a call a customer calls I answer your call I make I make sure I respond to your queries I resolve your issues and all that I'm trying to do it in a timely manner and you're telling me my calls are short so I'm like okay you say my calls are short so within those short calls and quote did I resolve the customer's issue yeah you actually did resolve the customer's issue but you kind of went straight to the point i'm like before i call <laughs> you call me i have issues with xyz and i'm like resolving your xyz in a timely manner and you are telling me my calls are short so what i've come to realize is that unlike where we are coming from like um if you're a customer care representative back home in nigeria in most of the sectors you have a timeline like you cannot make you cannot be on a call with the customer for more than four minutes or five minutes or six minutes that is always ringing in the back of my mind from where i'm coming from so the, it's expected that when you're on a call you're chatty you ask about the weather you talk and listen to what the customer has to say i don't know if it's peculiar to the company i work with but if i am on a call with a customer for one hour nobody comes in to ask why are you on the call for this long nobody nobody has ever come to meet me when i'm making a call that ah, why are you staying long on this call it's too long can you hasten up no rather i'm being queried that the calls are too short so i got chatting with my 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 colleagues in the same industry i'm in the same company i'm like do you get this feedback from your supervisor that your calls are too short and i said no my calls are usually they say their calls are usually long max minimum 20 million i'm like what are you saying what are you saying on the call that even from the way you introduce yourself you 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 spark up a conversation with the customer even before the customer tells you what, what he's calling you for so you're supposed to like normally you're supposed to introduce yourself like hi my name is Oshaza. i'm from manitoba how may i help you today so you're telling them your location sparks up a conversation like oh you're in manitoba where are you in manitoba i'm in winnipeg oh you're in winnipeg how is the weather i'm in british columbia it's been really warm and you'll be like oh it's been snowing all day Ugh. i'm not interested why are you calling me like what do you need so sometimes or most times when i call when i receive your call i just say hi my name is Oshaza. how can i help you today and it tends to make the customer just go straight to the point like okay my tv is not working my cable has this i want to make a payment then i'll do it for you but when i start the conversation with hi my name is Oshaza from manitoba how may i help you today 
it sparks up a conversation. Oh, I lived in Manitoba for 17 years. Which part are you in Manitoba? Oh, do you know this part? You should go to try. Or I will see from your address on your profile, I see you are in British Columbia or you're in Alberta. I'm like, oh, Alberta is a really beautiful place. Atlanta is really beautiful. Uh, then we'll now start talking. Before the customer will be like, anyways, the reason why I'm calling, I want you to help me do this, this, this and that. Before you know it, the time has, the call has reached 30 minutes, 14 minutes, you know? So since this is the new system, I'm trying to like, cope i'm trying to like do it the way the company wants it because i'm getting into a lot of troubles for short calls yes i resolve your issue within those calls but that is not what the company i don't know if it's peculiar to all customer care jobs here in canada but the one i work with nobody queries you for staying long on calls you know so when you want to resume work you have to resume with a new kind of aura you know no matter the mood you're in before you resume your job you have to resume with that kind of spirit so that the customer can even feel it from your voice and then you can be chatty so you cannot resume work with being moody to show in your calls and you tend to just go straight to the point even when the customer is trying to make a joke you're not ready to joke all those things count against too when you're doing the job of customer care representative here in canada i believe it's in all jobs all types of customer care representative jobs here in Canada, not just speculative company I work with. Because I was chatting with somebody that worked with, um, I think MTN in Nigeria, and she said, when you're on a call for more than, it's getting to four minutes, five minutes, your supervisor is already sending you a message. Why are you long on this call? Do you need help as in, why? Round up, quickly wrap up the call. Because other people are on the queue waiting for you to finish calling. And we're like arguing, I like, I'm facing the, the opposite. They're telling me my calls are too short. And she's like, really? Ah, now, wow, I don't understand what's going on here. This is not how it's supposed to be, you know. So that's the new system here in Canada. So if, if you want to work as a CSR, that's a short form, customer care representative, then you should be really, really chatty. If you know you're the kind of person that don't like talking, you like working from home, or you like working on your system, like resolving issues, listening to soft music you're not talking to anybody you're working for your eight hour shifts please don't even go near customer care representative job because you just get frustrated it's not every time you feel like talking you know so <laughs> it's a tip for you if you come here and you're looking for a job and that is the kind of person you are just look for another job in another sector you know and again being a csr over here or anywhere you need to really develop a kind of thick skin towards different people that you meet on your calls daily so you could have up to 30 calls in a day depending on the traffic some may be more some may be less and out of those 30 calls just one call could just spoil your mood you know so something happened to me like some few days back i was not really feeling good i was feeling somehow feverish and i wanted to take an excuse not to work that day i just felt well if i don't work what will i be doing i don't feel like sleeping let me just work i'll just struggle and do the job you know so i logged in and the first call i received was a very 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 angry customer what happened do you know me from anywhere i'm even trying to be chatty with him he just told me that he just he just a call he just finished making a call with one of my colleagues and the person dropped the call on him and he knows i'm also going to drop the call on him i'm like i'm not going to drop the call on you sorry about that that somebody dropped the call on you how can i help you so i was trying to like validate you can i have your account number can i have your password and he was refusing to answer he was just being angry he was just swearing he was just talking to me anyhow can i have your name let me validate you before i even ask what the issue is he's going straight to the point in my mind i said this is the reason why somebody dropped call on you hey i'm a fresh person i'm a new person can you answer me let me help you Lila. and the next thing the person just said you're an idiot and he just hung the call on me my very first call that i i, I struggled to resume that day i just felt like just just logging out like let me just take a squeeze i'm not working because I was ready to help this person and he insulted me 
you know before he even before he even insulted me i already spent like five minutes on the call because he was not cooperating i wanted to help him asking you for your name can i validate you before I even because when you call customer care before they even answer what you are calling for they need to ask some information to be sure you're the one calling he was not cooperating and the next thing just told me i'm an idiot and he caught the call I'm like, okay, in fact, by the time I was still deciding, should I call, to, should I log out and take excuse, I'm not feeling fine. The next call came in and I, 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 I resumed, I took the second call with that sadness in my voice and I just had to like cheer up and just move on. And I was able to move on that day with other calls. I finished my shift for that day. So if you don't have a thick skin, I swear to God, you're going to. You're going to fight with a customer or call. You're going to exchange words. You're going to insult somebody's somebody's father on on a call. I tell you, so it's actually not easy. You know, it's different from when you go to work. You have your schedule. You do your thing and come back home. This one, you're talking to people from all walks of life. Different people that are very very annoying. Some are nice. Some are actually very nice. Majority of them are nice. You know. They can be so nice, they make you laugh, they'll joke with you. They're very, very chatty people over here. Very, very chatty. Even not on call when you're own, when you meet on the street, they within five minutes that you talk to a Canadian, they'll download their life to you. In fact, they'll want you to download everything about yourself for them, you know. They ask a lot of questions and all that. So if and they, they find it it's like a problem if you're not really friendly or chatty in the workplace. They find they see it like a problem. So you just shy and know how you would uh, jab all the talk because there are some things you go and say and I can work against you. That's a story for another day. But you know, most times they're chatting nice people on calls and all that. So another thing is our accents, you know. The people you talk to are mostly Canadians. They are mostly from other countries. You as a Nigerian with your own accent. So once you just pick the call, a customer's call, they already know this person is not one of us. They already know. So some of them are nice. They are struggling to hear you. You as a CSR are also struggling to understand what they are saying. Because from the first point when you just ask them for their account number or their phone number, when they won't call out 11 digits, out of the 11 digits that they are calling, you may just get five. And you'll be like asking them, please, can you repeat it again? Because the way they just call it, um, 604, they know hear what you are saying. Can you slow down? So they understand okay this is a nigerian this is somebody with an accent some of them are nice they'll be like oh i'm struggling to understand you i you're from africa right oh i'm struggling to understand you can you talk slowly so i can understand and some of them outrightly will just tell you can you transfer this call to someone that actually speaks english <sighs> this is like almost a daily thing i think i said it in my, in my previous video the first time someone said that to me, I'm like, ah, is it not English I'm speaking? I did not really understand what the person meant. Like, can you transfer the call to someone that speaks English? Those are the mean ones, the ones that... Of course, Canada is full of a lot of immigrants, a lot of... A majority are Im immigrants. So, if I pick, if you call a customer care service, you should know that it's definitely... Or most I know a Canadian that is going to speak to you. So, you should be ready for whatever accent you hear. And they just tell you, or they just cut the call. Some will not want to talk to you. They just want to hear your voice. They just cut the call. Some of them will outrightly tell you, please, can you transfer the call to someone that speaks English? Or I'm not understanding what you're saying. Some will say, what are you saying? Can you talk properly? I can't, I can't understand you. <laughs> there was someone like that that called. She needed to be transferred to a customer care, um, to a technician tech support i was supposed to, supposed to transfer the call to tech support and she told me i should transfer the call to tech support and i should make sure the person that speaks that picks the call speaks english meaning so what she meant is i shouldn't transfer the call to somebody maybe an indian or somebody from africa or i should make sure the person that picks the call is somebody that speaks like her like a canadian i'm like i'm sorry i can't control that the technicians are on queue i don't know who is on queue so I'm going to transfer the call and whoever it is that picks the call, it's fine. I don't have control over that. I just transfer. Before she could even say that, I just transfer the call. And inside, inside my heart, I was praying that I pray an Indian that will even pick your call. You just hear. 
Hi, my name is Asha Deep. How can I help you today? <laughs> oh, that's crazy in my mind, you know, like, what's that? We struggle to hear them. They struggle to hear us. So it's, so, so that's why sometimes I, immediately I just close from work. I notice the way I talk for the first few minutes after I close from work, I, I tend to have accent on my voice because once you resume work, you have to just sharp, put small accents so that they can hear you. It's not because you're forming or something. You want them to understand you, to hear what you're saying. Because imagine a, a, a Canadian comes to Nigeria and she's speaking with her own accent. You struggle. But when she starts talking like you, like trying to speak broken, you would actually understand what she's saying. So that is how it is. So they struggle to hear us, we struggle to hear them, and some of them are not nice about it. Some of them are just very annoying about it, you know. They are not happy that the person that picked that call is not a Canadian or this person has deep accents, like very, very conk Nigerian African accent. So that's it. So another thing is back to being chatty, back to talking and all that. Just yesterday, a customer called and outrightly i knew I, I cannot resolve her issue it's a technical issue i needed to transfer her to technical support and she was just gisting and gisting about it what happened she called me that oh um my cat my i put my remote control on my chair and my cat walks over the remote back and forth back and forth and then she pressed some things on the remote and it my tv couldn't it's some function the tv is no longer working because when the cat was pressing some part of the remote it tried to dis disorganize the setting of the tv so she cannot set it on put it back on outrightly i knew it was a tech support issue so i was like oh okay no problem i'm going to just transfer you to the tech support and she went oh and do you know what my dear do you know the cat is just working majestically in the house as if she didn't do anything like what are you saying now can I shall transfer you to tech support? I'm not ready for all this just about your pet. She went on and on. You know, this happened to me last few months. The same thing she did. Is the cat she's talking about like that thing? The same thing she did. She pressed the remote. I think she does it deliberately. Don't you think? And then, oh, I think she does. She may be a very funny cat. I'm like, do you have pets? I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't have pets. Maybe the way I answered, like, no, I don't have pets. Maybe she sensed it. I'm like, oh, why? You don't, okay, what about dogs? What about puppies? Uh, this this breeds of puppies are, are really nice. Oh, they, you should try having pets. They're really consoling, you know. My husband died some few years ago, and I decided to get this cat. It's been keeping... Yeah, I was tired. I was already ready to transfer her to tech support. Let me rest. You know, but she was so chatty. I just had to share relax because from her voice, Google says she's an old woman. She's ready to talk. She wants to chat. I'm like, oh yeah, let's continue talking. And she kept talking about the cat. She told me about the cat, the cat's name and all that. How she doesn't want the cat to be pregnant, to have more babies. She just wants the cat to just be um just being a cat she doesn't want it to be a mother she doesn't want to have more kittens and all that what she's doing about it and when she was done I'm like, oh okay i think it's time to transfer you to the tech support now so they could help you set up your tv she said, oh thanks so much you've been really nice what's your name and that brings me to another thing again oh so you introduce yourself hi my name is Oshaiza. i'm like oh can you spell the name and I'll be like, O S H E I Z A. No, 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 I didn't get it. Can you spell it properly? What they mean by can you spell it properly is using the alphabet of your name to make a word. Like you'll be like, orange, shoe, house, egg, igloo, zebra, alpha. That's how they know how to spell your name. And they say, Oh, Shaza. Oh, that must be, that's a very beautiful name. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria, that's Africa, right? Yeah, Africa. Oh, Nigerians are really nice people. I once walked to someone in Nigeria and, oh, I'm like, you know, I'll be like smiling. And when I don't, remember, are you done? You know, 
so they are really 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 very chatty people so if you want to work as a csr especially when your audience are actually canadians be ready to be chatty be ready to be happy <laughs> yeah, like happy like because they can feel your happiness on your on your calls actually you know and those are what your supervisors at your work want they want you to be able to chat with your customers and all that so it's not easy i'm learning on the job i'm really really learning to to talk more i like i like justin actually but i just tend to see that their jokes are kind of not very sorry to say oh. <laughs> these jokes are dry not dry jokes in the top you know the sweet so you just need to you should have been struggling huh? so that's just the rant about me the customer care representative here in canada especially where i work you know and what i'm doing about it and you know the struggles the struggles <laughs> i'm facing on the job I'm trying to be more chatty. I'm trying to be more engaging with the customer so that at least my calls, one call, I, I should be on a call for up to 40 minutes. Hey, that's when my supervisor will be happy that, hey, you've improved. You've actually improved this week. Your The average calls, the average whatever of your calls is now 20 minutes. That's good. Good job, Oshaiza. Because currently my job, is, my, my calls, you see five minutes, nine minutes, 10 minutes, those are my durations of my calls. So it's not like I'm not doing what the customer is asking me to do. Like what they called in for. I do it, but just I move, I go straight to the point. Even during the training, all the trainings we had of live calls, your supervisor will do a live call. You watch her, how she does the call and everything. More than half of the calls are just they that talking about different things. They talk a lot about the weather. That's one thing. Then from that, you, you could jump into politics, you could jump into pet, you could jump into tour, different tours you've been to. Oh, have you been to? Oh, you should try going to Mexico at this period. So, you know, they talk a lot. So you should... I didn't take that part of the training seriously because I just felt, no, I'm not going to. I didn't know it's going to like tell against my performance at the job. So it's something I'm really working on. So advice if you know you don't know you don't like talking too much you don't like yarning too much with people just, just, just don't apply for customer care role because if not you're going to struggle and you're going to see it as a big deal but if you're the kind of person that likes talking you like chatting and just kind of when you go spend one hour for one call then at the end of a shift you may just end up taking maybe eight calls during the shift because you're talking too much you know so that you really do well at the job all right thank you i hope this video made sense actually <laughs> i'm sure it did people that do the job actually can relate they can relate you know on what i'm saying and if you're thinking of going into it good luck and all that so please do well to subscribe if you're here to subscribe to this video and thanks so much for staying up to this point still have a nice day bye